Skidman Brown. Skidman Brown. Skidman Brown. Skidman Brown. And welcome back. We're here with Scared Man Braun. I'm glad you had the courage to be here today. Thanks for having me. Scared Man Braun, for the past two days, many of us have made you the butt of all jokes. After being humiliated by the Boston Celtics and dunked on the way you were. It, well, I want to correct something. Um, everybody's been dunked on before. I mean, I've been dunked on, um, you know, no one's, um, you know, um, uh, you know, immune to being dunked on. It don't really mean nothing, but I want, but in your case, old man, Brown, when you were dunked on by Brown, you saw a mental collapse within yourself where you just start losing the ball and it seemed like you were embarrassed. You want to walk us through that moment? Well, I thought I was playing a good game. Um, uh, the game kind of got a hand away from us. You know, defensively, we had some lapses. And, you know, the the dunk play, everybody is, like, making a big fuss about. You know, um, yeah, I didn't really think too much of it. You know, I was just uh, in a position. I saw him come through, and he got by Danny Green so quick. You know, when I turned my head, he was already past Danny Green. So, you know, it was nothing too much I could do about it from that point on. But, you know, I was just trying to make up for what Danny Green had messed up at. But, you know, these things happen when you're a superstar like me. You know, these things are amplified. But I didn't, you know, I know it's Boston. It's a tough building. But, you know, I knew social media was going to go crazy. And the way they were in the building. And, you know, I think it's disrupted the team a little bit. But let's take it back there. Because I, I want people to get the full gist. And I want you to walk us through what happened. Because the look on your face was a look of disappointment. Here's that play again. <laughs> Takes a timeout. 81 63 Boston. This is how you attack a South Blocker. Hello. Welcome back. We know you've been hurt. Looks like you got some rest. Yeah, I, I didn't need to see that again. Uh -oh. Um, yeah, I I don't need to see that no more. Um, it's just one play. Um, yeah, we, we kind of fell apart after that. We had, we called a timeout to try to collect ourselves and we, we kind of never got back in the game. Uh, but old man, Brian, let's go to the Knicks game. Powell is under the rim. You get posted up. You turn around and block balls out of bounds. You tried to do a quick jump and you're six, seven. He's six, four. He was in the air almost waiting for you when you tried your quick jump. And he rejected the ball emphatically. And from that point on, do you realize you only scored two points for the rest of the half? Two points. You were scoring 19 points in the first half and only two for the rest of the game. And you only took two shots. Did you get scared again? Well, I mean, anybody would be scared in that type of situation, but um, I was just trying to get my teammates in the game and, uh, you know, trying to find the, the open guy and, you know, just, just trying to do stuff like that because I don't, I don't understand what your question is right now. Where, where I'm at right now is entirely different than what uh, someone else might be. You know, I'm just trying to get through it, old man broad style, you know, you know, old man, yeah, Ooh, got a little arthritis in the knee, some thorax, it's hurting my throat a little bit, 
Many people think that this should be your last season. Oh, no, 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 no. I, are you kidding? Um, what, what are my numbers? I'm like 27, 8, and 4. I mean, yeah, I mean, you get a little rattled, you know, playing. That's why I ain't want to shoot that much no more after that. Because if I shoot another shot and somebody block it, you know, it's all on the Internet. They don't even care about the game no more. So, you know, I'm just like, why do I need to shoot? I mean, that's what we got AD here for. So let AD shoot the ball, you know. I took enough shots. I got 19 in the first half. So I felt my teammates closed the game out. So what about Kyle Kuzma? I don't want to talk about Kuzma. So is he out of here? Uh, like I said, I don't want to talk about Kuzma. All right. So what is your next step from here? I mean, I'm going to go home, get in my bed, get some rest, and let that be that, you know. But, I mean, just because I get dunked on, I was scared. I mean, I think it's the people and the way they just, you know, viciously boo people. I think that we might need to change that, you know. Um, too much booing in, in, in the game is just like, unnecessary you know it kind of breeds a violent mentality towards athletes you know next thing you know people are throwing things at you and it's not safe for you on, on the court so a lot of people might feel fear for their life in certain stadiums and that's being championed and i think we need to find a way to try to change that you know like you know hey we all trying to win a game you know everybody cheer for everybody you know, let's let's try to do it that way. And just, you know, like if somebody start booing, we throw them out. And, you know, we got to try to visit that idea, I think. I think that's a good thing. I think everybody should be forced or at least have to cheer or don't say anything. But heckling a player and talking to players and stuff like that, all crazy you know, I mean, I just think that's unnecessary, and I think we feed a, a bad example to the kids. But, old man, Bron, haven't you changed enough rules? I ain't changed none. That's up to Adam. You know, Adam make those decisions. You know, LeBron, we all know you're running the league, and you're making these changes. Well, I'm not running nothing. I mean, I don't know where you get that from. I mean, it's it's up to Adam, whatever Adam wants to do. And if Adam wants to throw people out for booing, I, I'm going to stand in this corner. That's all I'm going to say. I will stand and support Adam's decision. Adam Silver Slipper, you're here. Yeah, I'm here. I have to wait till my nails dry. But I agree with everything LeBron's saying in the league. We're looking into it right now. A lot of different things. We want to people to wear more we're gonna start passing out t-shirts with more brighter colors like yellows and sky blue and purple just passing them around well don't forget yellow you know the lake of gold oh yeah of course we're gonna have all these colors like pink and sparkles and just shine the nba we want everyone to shine and glow you know, so they can just be fierce. Fierce? Yeah, fierce. Um, okay, old man, bro. <laughs> what do you think about Adam's ideas and changes? Well, some of them we're going to have to tone back. But like I said, I stand behind him. How far behind? <laughs> no, not that far behind, but... I stand behind his decisions that he's been making for the league. And I don't see nothing wrong with it, you know, making some changes here. You know, I was thinking about we do something else with the slam dunk contest, have teams, slam dunk teams, you know. I think that would be dope. Like, we had a team, like, let's say the Lakers got to send their best dunkers versus the Celtics' best dunkers. And then you have a slam dunk champion team. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope. We send like three dunkers from each team or something like that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope. I think we should do something like that.
Now, old man Braun, let's get to the game that's actually being played. The Clippers. You lost to them twice. You only have nine losses, but you lost to the Clippers twice, who teams feel is the best team in L.A. What do you think about the Clippers and where they are? Well, I mean, I don't know, but, you know, this uh, low management thing is out of control, but they're a very good team, and when, when the playoffs start and we meet, we meet them, you know, we're doing our homework on them, so we'll figure it out. You know, we're real close to beating them, so as long as we figure it out in June, that's all that matters. Well, good luck to you, old man Brian. And you sound better now. Well, you know, I had a day to kind of get my head together. That's why I didn't come in, like, right after the, the incident, because I wanted to, like, get all this toxic energy out of my system. Now, me and, you know, me and Adam, we finna go have brunch. Ooh, and I'm gonna listen to Yanni. And he gonna listen to some guy named Yanni in the car. He don't talk, though. Yanni just play like a harp. No, he plays sax. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we out of here. All right, you and Adam go have that brunch. And that's old man Brian. Well, scared man Brian. I'm out. See you next time. Scared man Brian. Scared man Brian. Scared man, bro. Scared man, bro.